Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Tonight we'll be sharing with you a very special message, along with the Disgaea crew. Now, in order to unlock the Majin class, you need five different units, each level 200. A ninja, a uh, gunner, aka a scout, a male brawler, a male warrior, and a thief. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Level 200? That's crazy town! There's no way I could get my characters that high within any reasonable amount of time. And so, you, the average panicked Disgaea player, might try going to, for example, the penultimate map, Hall of Justice, trying to get your characters as high of a level as possible. Well, I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. And wasting your time in Disgaea is never a good idea, because there is just so much time to waste. Let's go over the proper procedures for leveling up. Now, the first thing you'll need is one of these things. An emblem, preferably high-leveled, with the uh, Innocent Statistician, Manager, and Arms Master. Statistician and Manager should both be 300 or higher, Arms Master should be 1900 or higher. <coughs> If you are playing Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness like I am, you can get these very easily off the item Foresight, which is sold in the uh, Weapon Depot here when your item rank is at, I believe, 9 or higher. Next thing you will want to do is make a new character. Preferably a Genius Ninja. Now this doesn't matter, this applies for every class you want to make. Genius Ninja is definitely the way you want to go. At least before we've unlocked Majin, in which case you probably want a, de a Genius Majin. As you can see, the cost for creating a Genius level Shinobi is incredibly high. So if you want to start with a lower level Maja, or a Ninja, that is fine. Just make sure he has an S rank in Fists. Now, when creating a genius level character, you will of course have to uh, submit it through the Dark Assembly. In this case, I got lucky and passed my uh, thing. But in, on the off chance that you rejected, you are rejected. You will want to have a high level character on hand, like Laharl, for example, to clean up any stragglers. Or any dissidents, I guess. Not stragglers. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Shazman. <laughs> because I can't spell Shazam. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at my own typo here. Alright, so now that you have your Shazman, we are going to equip him with that uh, testament we prepared earlier. Now, you might also, depending on your personal preferences, you might also want to add a level whatever broker to your uh, <coughs> emblem. I am going to choose not to do that. Just because this is what I have on hand. Now, you will want to equip your shinobi with a Infernal Fist and two pairs of Falcon Shoes. This will ensure the least amount of hassle while you are level grinding. Step number two. Whoops. I done goofed. Anyway, you are going to want to uh, bring your uh, Shazman up to the top here. And then, you take the... Step 2. Take the promotion exam. Three times at most. Three times at least. Preferably four. As you can see, with the uh, level 300 statistician, we will be leveling up very quickly. And thanks to our level 1900 arms masters, 
We will also be getting Fist Mastery incredibly quickly. As you can see, after two uses of the Fist, we already have rank 4 Mastery, which is enough to learn the Tiger Charge skill. actually wasting my time here. You don't need to go to the hospital after passing the promotion exam because it automatically heals your unit. Instead, we continue taking the promotion exams up to level 3. safety announcement yet, or public service announcement yet, but that is just fine. As you can see, by the time you have finished your promotion exam to level 3, your shinobi should have learned King of Beasts. And have 268 mana. And be level 11. That being said, our next objective will be to take him to... Field of Virtue in Celestia. There are four ninjas here... Or not four ninjas, four vampires here. Three of them level 65, one of them level 70. And there will be experience plus 100 panels covering the entire map. <clears throat> now what you want to do is sneak up to this ninja, get behind him, and use King of Beasts. It's okay if their attack doesn't kill him. Just have another high level unit, for example, Laharl. Walk right up to him and throw him back in the base pan. Actually, no. Instead, you should just have Laharl pick him up. Then on the next turn, throw him anywhere. Anywhere is good. Now use King of Beasts again, and your Shazman should be level 40 now. This means that he will probably be able to hold his own against the min against the uh vampires, excuse me. I don't know why I keep calling the vampires ninjas. Have a healer try to heal him to maximum health. She might miss, but that's fine. It's the effort that counts. As you can see, this vampire is now very close to being dead. You want to avoid what I did just now and uh, try not to have your units t join in a team attack because it means less experience for Shazman. Just keep using King of Beasts on the vampires from behind, and you should get within a pretty high level eventually, by the time you're done. Why are, why are my headphones making weird sounds? As you can now see, Shazman is level 61, and has 15 Mastery and Fists. 
This is excellent, but we want to do it one more time. Before then, though, we will be having our Shazman improve his counterattack through the Dark Assembly. You will probably be rejected if you've been playing the way I have, but that is fine. Shazman is a high enough level now to presumably kick the uh, Senator's butts on his own. And in the process, he will gain even more experience in mana. This is exactly why I picked the Ninja class. Primarily for the S in Fists, but also for the high countering and evasion. It just speeds things up that much more because you don't have to worry about healing, and the counterattacks will mean more punches per second. And time is of the essence. Next, after we've raised his counterattack rate, we take the promotion exam again. And this time, use our handy new Rising Dragon technique on these gargoyles. Hello, Surreal Canine, or MS. MCX. MCSG Blitz. remember you from somewhere. Here I am not following my own advice. Next, we get a dark assembly like this, with the influence just over 500, and pass the bill to improve his movement. Again, if you've been playing the way I have, you are likely to get rejected, but that's fine. We're strong enough now that we don't really need anyone's help to pass this bill by force. As you can see, even with these high-level senators wailing on us, our Shazman isn't taking a whole lot of damage, and already he has learned Big Bang. Oop, we lost one of our, uh, senators. Yeah. 
At this point, since our Shazman is in danger, we might want to get Laharl in here to help sort things out. I got unlucky here and got a large group of high-leveled senators. <clears throat> but it doesn't entirely matter in the long run. So by the time you've completed this step, your senator should have 10 move and 6 counters. This is excellent. But as you can see, his attack isn't quite what we need. We want to have at least 3,000 attack, preferably 4,000. So at this point, continue running a Field of Virtue to Taste. Use Big Bang if an enemy, if a vampire is weak to fire, otherwise use Rising Dragon. And make sure to heal your Shazman if he ends up getting the depraved status, because that is never convenient. As you can see, I got lucky here and ended up with most of my uh, vampires weak to fire. And as you can see, within a span of about 15 minutes, we already have a level 77 Shinobi. But again, we want to preferably get him up to 3000 attack before we move on to the next step, so it's time to grind away. Thankfully, with his S in fists, it shouldn't be too ma it shouldn't be too long before uh, his weapon mastery drives him over the uh, tipping point here. As you can see, our attack is now over 3,000. This is excellent. Now we've got that taken care of, it's time to move on to the next step, which is going to the Cave of Ordeals 3. As you can see, there are nine galactic demons here, level 150, with the middle one being level 160. Some of them are weak to fire, and some of them have especially low defense. What we want to do here is... Take out another high-level character. Preferably one with between uh, 3,000 and 4,000 in their main attacking stat. And have them hit the galactic demons here with a... Uh, 9 by 3 by 3 area of effect attack, and follow that up with a big bang from your shinobi. This should end up killing a few of them. At this point you can safely end your turn, and because of your shinobi's high speed, he shouldn't be killed by the resulting counterattacks. Indeed, as you've seen here, you might end up having them miss entirely. 
as well as getting a few counterattacks, which is always nice. At this point, you can put away your other unit and just have your shinobi clean up. Pushing dangerous territory here, but that is fine. I should be able to take care of this guy before he hits me again. And there we have it. In the space of one battle, our Shazman here has gained about 60 levels. This is excellent progress. And again, only 20 mi minutes have passed since we uh, first created our Shazman. At this point, we want to continue grinding our uh, Shazman until he has at least 10,000 mana, preferably more. This should only take one more battle if you have a level 300 manager on one of his items. If the enemy is strong to fire, you use Rising Dragon instead of Big Bang. As you can see, we now have 13,820 mana on our Shazman, and he is level 180. All in the space of about 20 minutes. Now we can freely transmigrate him to just about any class we want. I am going to go with the Rogue class, which only requires 5,000 mana. Pump all of his pump all of his points into attack, and we repeat the process for our rogue. As you can see, after transmigrating as a genius, our Shazman here still has 27 mastery and fists, which is all he will really need. As you can see, our rogue can already hold his own in battle, even though he just transmigrated. Since rogues are especially weak stat-wise, this is a good strategy for preparing them for long sessions of grinding. 
And again, it only takes about 20 minutes. If you want to expedite the process even more, I would recommend taking a high-level unit through your Infernal Fist to level up its item world a little bit. Also stack as many gladiators on it as you can. Doesn't matter what level they are, just fill up all of your uh, innocent slots with gladiators. And make sure you kill the item generals and the item king. This will ensure the maximum stat growth. Possible revision you might make to this process, to this preparation process is doing it a second time, transmigrating your shinobi as a genius shinobi. It takes 20,000 mana, but by then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to have a lot more points to add to his attack than just uh, transmigrating him to a rogue the first time. Who texted me? Now that our Shazman is level 11, we want to take him back to Celestia. And, is, and it doesn't matter how many counterattacks your strong unit has. As long as they're holding on to your Shazman, he shouldn't counterattack and ruin things. Helps to have two high level units so you can uh, pass Shazman back and forth to him while he's in his low levels. As you can see, he is now strong enough to take out one of those uh, vampires in just one punch. This is good for us, because the sooner we can get Shazman operating on his own, the better. This is the depraved icon, a black spiral over your uh, character's head. You want to clear that up as soon as possible, because it completely prevents experience gain, as long as your character has that status. Put away our dudes here.
Shazam! Now, let's see how our Shazman's attack power is holding up. 2,000 after one battle. This is good news, but it could be better. Has come to pay a visit. Here, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Up. You want to sit on the bed? Is that what you want? You want to sit on the bed or you want to sit on my lap? I guess you want to sit on my lap. You can be so weird sometimes, Stripes. Shazam! Now, in the case of a class like Rogue that has zero counters, it is a waste of time to try to give them an extra counter. So instead, we are going to bring him up to rank 4, and just improve his movement. The reason why having, z having one counter is a waste of time is because you use up one of your counter slots just attacking. And if you defend, it uses up two counter slots. This is an ideal situation because we have a lot of participants, but only a total level of about 500. Oh, whoops. Why did I do that? Wasn't paying attention. As you can see, I'm not having much luck in the, uh, past this bill department. But that's fine. We have our Shazman, and we have a whole bunch of other high-level units to help us out. 
I would definitely recommend, uh, when trying to unlock the Majin, working on your male brawler and your male uh, warrior first, because that unlocks the ninja class. Once you've unlocked the ninja, you can uh, make a high level ninja and then start working on the other two classes, which are scout and rogue. Another alternative is making a Ronin who have an S rank in swords and training them up using the Winged Slayer technique. This is a viable alternative because like Big Bang, it has a 3x3 area of effect and it is also neutral in element and uses fewer SP. So you can use it more times than Big Bang and you're not impeded by elemental resistance. It's also a good idea if you're, uh, if the unit you want to transmigrate to has a higher rank in swords than they do in fists. In the case of Rogue, it's kind of a choice between a rock and a hard place. Neither of which is very useful. Wait, did I just heal the... Oh yeah, my angel doesn't have a high enough uh, range with her healing spells to get very far. Hello there, Hardy. Once you've upgraded your unit's move and their attack is at least 2,000, you can just continue. You can move on to the uh, Cave of Ordeals and just grind ad nauseum. And if you find that your Shazman can't uh, kill one of these uh, galactic demons on his own, then you just bring in a higher level character. Uh, preferably somebody who can kill the, uh, who uses fists and can kill the, uh, galactic demons in one hit. And have them set up a team attack with your Shazman. As you can see, I got lucky and I was able to kill one of them, but now they're all gonna come after him. So, I want to have Yusha, my shinobi, pick Shazman up and protect him. Once you only have a few galactic demons left, it should be safe to leave him out in the open. Although my healer could probably use a little bit of help. Shazam! 
as you can see, 2,591 HP is a bit too much for our uh, rogue in training here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to have Yusha use a team attack with Shazman. And that was enough to get Shazman a little bit of experience. Now I just have him take care of the last two by himself. Shazam! That was not the intended outcome. In the event that that happens, just have your uh, high-level character clean up and heal your guy at the hospital and try again. A little bit of time wasted, but better than if you were just trying to do Hall of Justice over and over. As you can see, our rogue is now level 101, and I did not intend to go to the save screen here. and has about 3,000 mana. So we're definitely on the right track. At this point, your grinding will probably slow down a little bit. But if you just keep on powering through it, then eventually you'll have a strong character. As you can see, I have about 2,500 uh, HP and attack right now. Calling in my ninja just for that little bit of extra protection. And these guys arrange themselves in such a way that I should just be able to kill a few more of them with another Big Bang. Let's make sure to move the healer out of the way, though. After one more battle, Shazman is level 147, and he should gain about five levels for each uh, galactic demon he kills at this point. So after two more battles, he should be level 200, and we will finally have the Majin class unlocked. doing for a second there. At this point, it would be expedient to have somebody pick up our uh, galactic demon friend here and throw him into the 3x3 square. That saves a little bit of time.
Level 192, so indeed, one more battle should do the trick. Another thing I would recommend, I haven't done it here, but you probably want to have another uh, have another Uber emblem like this one equipped on your secondary unit. That way they get the full experience from any accidental kills. As you can see, I'm level 209, and that only took 45 minutes since the uh, original creation of our Shazman. This also means that I can start working on the Majin class. Now, once you have the Majin class unlocked, we can take our strategy even further by upgrading, by uh, creating Majins instead of ninjas. This will let their stats grow higher, although you will have to watch out for enemy attacks since uh, Majins aren't quite as good stat-wise as ninjas. But that is all I wanted to show you guys today. And remember, Talk to your kids about responsible level grinding before someone else does. <laughs>